All right, so I got a request um, to do more back flexibility exercises. So we're actually gonna go ahead and start in our seal position. And this is really just to kind of go ahead and get your back nice and stretched. Try to keep your feet as close together on these as you can. I know that's a struggle for some of us. I know for me, that's really, really hard to do, but that's the goal just to try to keep your feet as close as you can. And you can put your head back to give you more of a stretch. And we have two um, levels here of back flexibility. It's not Ashley's favorite, but she works really hard. And then we have Sydney who has a lot of natural flexibility in her back, but it also requires a lot of strength. So just because someone's flexible, it doesn't mean that they can just throw their back around. You have to have a lot of strength to go with it. Okay, go ahead and go to child's pose just to stretch that back out. Just release everything. Just make sure that you're relaxed and fully lengthened through your spine. All right, we're gonna go back into that seal stretch. Remember trying to keep your feet as close as you can. Try to take your feet up to your head and we're gonna hold that. You will either be here or maybe not even that far or you'll be here. And if that is not hard enough for you, you could probably take your feet to your shoulders if that's possible. Just giving you something extra for a challenge. And come back down and go to back to your child's pose. All right and come back up. And for this particular stretch, we're gonna use Sydney. Oh no, wait, we're gonna use both of them. So we're gonna take our arms to fifth. So for this, just so I can talk you through it first, we're gonna do three sets. You're just gonna do three pulses back. Make sure that you're not crunching your spine. Make sure you're not bouncing through this, but it's three pulses back, taking your head back also. And then after you do the three pulses, you reach wherever you can, whether it's to your feet, to your ankles, or if you just have to leave your arms down or just put your um, arms on your back, whatever works for you best. So we're gonna do three pulses, ready, we go. One, two, three, and hold. Hold it, hold it. And come back up, arms to fifth. Ready, shoulders down, go. One, two, three and hold and back up arms in fifth ready go one two three and back up and just stretch your back out, child's pose again, or whatever you need to do that helps you relax your back. Okay, so this next stretch, what you're gonna do, and notice they are separated by a wall. They are not touching. We are corona free here. So you're gonna put your elbows up against the wall and while your elbows are there, you're gonna put your chest as close to the wall as you can, and you're gonna keep your legs straight, and you can be at a parallel position with your legs. And the goal is to kind of make a right angle from your hips through to your ribs. And obviously, again, there's two different back flexibilities going on here. Do you guys feel it? Yeah. Okay, rest. We're gonna do it again. Where do you feel it most? Here. Oh, so it's also stretching out. Okay. Together, or stretching like all the way here yep. upper back. So you feel this is more of like it looks like a lower back, but it. Okay, good. All right. Did For everyone me. hear that? So Ashley felt it in her hamstrings a lot. Sydney felt it through the um, underneath her arms and her upper back. So let's try that again. 
Ready, go. And I guess if you need to, you could maybe step back a little further to get lower. I don't know if that's possible. Maybe not. Ashley, where are you feeling it? Everywhere. Everywhere. Where are you feeling it, Sid? Oh, like underneath totally my arms and my shoulder blades. And rest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like my neck is about all right, so we are going to call these wall bridges. We're going to walk down the wall. We're going to do three sets of these. So you're going to walk down the wall and make sure you're giving yourself enough space so that once you're down in your bridge, you can push your chest up against the wall if you are able to do that. Some of you may not be able to do that, but that's what you can work towards. All right, so here's the first set. Go ahead and walk down the wall. And once you're down, try to push. and walk back up the wall good that's one all right second set here we go ready go and walk it up okay we got one more ready go And back up. Um, okay, so we're gonna do these things called bridge rotations, and we're gonna do three going to the right and then three going to the left. Now, the way to do this, you're gonna push up like you would into a normal bridge towards your right, and then you're gonna walk it around and then take it over towards your left. Good. Can you do the right again, Sydney? And whoever's watching, make sure you're paying attention to what her hands are doing. Okay, ready, take it around. So once she gets to this position, she gets her hands in the correct bridge position and then she takes it around. And then after that, we'll go to the left. Okay, so we're gonna do right, left, right, left, right, left. So you have six total. Ready? and. We're gonna do a slower pace and then she's gonna do it fast. Okay, so here's the slow pace, ready, go. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. There's five and six. Do you need a break before you go fast? No. You sure? Yeah. All right, so here's going a little faster if you need more of a challenge. Ready, go. Notice how she's twisting. Good. I think that was six. It was. Okay. <laughs> For this exercise, we are going to do the boat. Ashley is just going to do um, a modified version where you can just lift up and then you come right back down. And then Sydney is going to rock. And a way to get this um, more difficult is if you really pull your chest up and try to just get flat on your thighs to where your knees are touching the floor. So. And if you can't get up as high as Sydney and you're doing the ones that rock back and forth, if you can't get that high, it's okay. You're still going to feel it. So Ashley is going to go up and down and Sydney's gonna rock back and forth. We're gonna do this for one eight count. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and if you really want the challenge, try to straighten your legs. And that looks really hard. And yeah, there you go.